Hey guys, how's it going? So um, I'd like you to read the description and that's enough about that just to answer the question. And um, today I actually got quite a match. This guy's obviously using a rain team and he has Squirtle. And when I see uh, that kind of thing, I'm like noob. So today I did a ton of trial and error because I didn't have anything to do. So just played a bunch of Pokemon and Counter-Strike. And um, I figured out that I want to do, I want to make a really good core of five Pokemon and then throw on like a random thing to make, to throw people off. I don't know if that makes any sense, but this was kind of an old PU match when I was still fixing my team and whatnot. But it actually is crazy and it's really good, so yeah. Um, anyways, I'm going to lead off with my Dwebble as I always do, even though it does have the Squirtle as a spinner. So, uh, yeah, he's going to set up the rain first turn as I go for the rocks. And he turns out directly into his Squirtle to rapid spin the uh, rocks away. And I could have got up spikes or knocked off or something, but I just go for the rock blast. Because um, I didn't really know how to use this team, as you'll see multiple times in this uh, battle. So I go into my Golduck, and I don't know... Um, I went into him predicting the rapid spin or the scald because I could take either one and whatnot. And he goes to the toxic, and here he really couldn't touch me, so I should have just scalded or ice beamed or whatever. But I encore, which was really bad, letting him know I have it. But um, I get a makeup crit, just the hacks god saying you made an honest mistake. But on top of it, I get the burn, which. Um, doesn't really matter because he has the guts and I'm pretty sure another one would have been able to take him out regardless. Never mind, he lives with the red. Why did I forget that? Um, and he goes for storm throw and gets that crit because 100% crit. So the burn kind of did matter, but um, actually he's kind of lucky because I, w I would have gotten more lefties uh, recovery or something else would have had to take a skull. I don't really know, but um. Anyways, I go into my Rotom Frost to take a hit, and then I Volt Switch out um, on his Bear Tick and go into my Golduck pretty much as fodder because I don't see when he's going to be able to get another turn of lefties to get a sub up, and he really didn't have much left to do in this battle. So I go into my Monferno, predict him to switch, and I go for the U-turn to get initiative on whatever, and now I'm going to go into my Lanoon, thinking this would be a free time to set up, but this was before I put uh, HP investment. And I'm really surprised that Scald broke my sub. And I've done the same play so many times on things like Tentacool, where they break my sub with a Scald, and then I go for the Belly Drum, and every single time, I kid you not, every single time, like out of 10 times, they've gotten the burn on that same play. It is so annoying. There was not, I, I would just do it just to see if they wouldn't get the burn, but. Whatever, go to my Rotom Frost, Frost on the double down, seeing as it's great against pretty much everything. But if I, uh, whatever, if he went into a lo or a Molga, it would have put me in a weird spot. But he goes for the Rain Dance, I go into my Leafeon, and then he U-turns out into his Molga. And the Leaf Blade still does quite a bit. And here I'm going to be fearing what either of his stabs pretty much because Leaf Young can't take special hits. I go into my Rotom Frost and here I make an absolutely downright awful play. I go for the Volt Switch predicting anything to come in to take the Blizzard. And uh, I should have just uh, Hidden Power Iced or switched. And here's the even worse play. I stay in and go for it again. I have no idea what in the hell heck I was thinking that was just awful so I go into my Leafeon pretty much because I had no idea what to do after I made that awful play oh my gosh but anyways I go for the protect to stall out the rain and it's gonna end on this next turn but he does take me out with an air slash so now this puts me in a really weird spot I go into my Rotom Frost and I'm like please don't get flinched please and I don't and I manage to hit through and take him out with that hidden power ice so that was almost really really bad because it had my rhythm frost got flinched i probably would have lost but anyways i go into my dwebble and uh i'm just leaving him in, in his fodder even though my custab worked his aqua jet was priority so whatever i'm gonna go into my monferno now and just go for the mock punch knowing that it'll take him out and that he was probably gonna go for the aqua jet 
So that's cool, and he goes into his gold duck. I'm just like, may as well stand and mock punch. Get off a nice, nice chunk, actually. He takes me out the psychic, clean and simple. I go into my Rotom, so I just have to pretty much outspeed and take them both out with a Thunderbolt, which I'm pretty sure I can do, and I am going to be able to do it at that HP. So that was crazy. Leave a like if you liked it. Once again, read the description for the question. And yeah, Rotom Frost ruining it and then saving it. So yeah, bye.